Welcome to the Payment Wizard topic. After completing this topic, you will be able to run the Payment Wizard to create payments in a batch. Explain different scenarios when running the Payment Wizard. Maria, the accountant at OEC Computers, wants to make the process of creating payments from both customers and vendors more efficient. Maria would like to create monthly payments in a batch. You introduce Maria to the Payment Wizard and show her the settings needed to run the tool. The Payment Wizard enables you to create outgoing and incoming payments in batches for bank transfers, checks, and bills of exchange. The payments are created according to your selection criteria and payment methods. The Payment Wizard creates incoming bank transfer payments and outgoing checks and bank transfer payments. Payment Wizard runs over AP and AR documents and transactions that are not fully paid, credited, or reconciled. The runs also cover payments on account that are not allocated or reconciled to specific transactions. If the created payments are bank transfer payments or direct debit payments, the Payment Wizard creates payment files in the correct country-specific format. There is also an option for issuing a payment order run that creates a bank file does not create any journal entry and leaves the invoices open. The invoices will be closed after getting the bank confirmation. This feature is supported by two reports. Payment Orders Report by Business Partner, and Payment Orders Report by Payment Run. In the Payment Wizard, payments are created according to your selection criteria and payment methods. This graphic shows the steps in the Payment Wizard. First. Each run of the payment wizard is identified by a payment run name and the date of the payment run. Then you specify several selection criteria as follows. General parameters, such as the date of the next planned payment run, type, outgoing or incoming, payment means, check or bank transfer, and the document series used to create the payment documents. The business partners that the system checks for invoices do including expanded selection criteria. Selection criteria for the documents that the system includes, such as date ranges. And lastly, the payment methods to be used in the payment run. Based on these selection criteria the system creates a recommendation report or a list of suggested payments. You can accept or reject the recommendations. Using the Add Manual Row button, you can create a payment document or a payment order row between a house bank account and a business partner or a target account without referencing any documents in SAP Business One. The button Non Included Transactions creates a list of all open items that could not be included in the payment run. At the Save Options step, you can save the selection criteria without the recommendation report. This option does not reserve the selected open transactions for this payment run. You can still clear the transactions either using the incoming or outgoing payment documents or using a new payment run. The second option is to save the recommendations and proceed at a later date. This reserves the selected open transactions for this payment run only, which means that open transactions saved by this option cannot be cleared using the incoming or outgoing payment documents or a new payment run. In order to delete a recommended payment run, in the first step of the payment wizard, select the payment run, right click and choose cancel. There is also an option for issuing a payment order run that creates a bank file, does not create any journal entry and leaves the invoices open. The invoices will be closed after getting the bank confirmation. When getting the bank confirmation you can load the saved payment run, execute the payments and close the invoices. The fourth option, execute payment run, simply executes the payments. And the last option, Execute Payment Run on Server, allows the user to set a scheduled time, delayed, time for execution. When you execute the payments, the system automatically creates the payment documents for your accepted recommendations. A payment usually consolidates invoices for a business partner, unless you specify otherwise in the business partner master. For example, you can choose single payment to create one payment for each invoice for that business partner. If the created payments are bank transfer payments or direct debit payments, 
the payment wizard can create the payment file in the country-specific format to be sent to the company's bank. To create or adapt file formats use the Electronic File Manager EFM. This SAP Business One add-on is a graphical tool that lets you define and modify bank file formats. If the created payments are check payments, they can be printed directly from the system. After the checks are printed, the system assigns the check numbers. Once the process is complete, use the check number confirmation option in the banking module to confirm the numbers assigned. It is very important to define payment methods when configuring the banking setup in the administration module. This data is used by default in every payment run. With the payment method, you control the entire payment process. In the definition of a payment method, you define the following. First, the type of payment and payment means, for outgoing payments, check or bank transfer, for incoming, only bank transfer. Second, the house bank and the bank account that should usually receive or issue the payment made with this payment method. If the company works with additional house bank, define a payment method for each bank or branch. Third, validation checks that the system should carry out before using this payment method, as well as amount restrictions. And lastly, postings in relation to GL interim accounts. Note. You can define a payment method as inactive by deselecting the active box. This method will not be included in the payment run. All incoming slash outgoing payment methods defined in SAP Business One appear in the master records of the business partners, under the payment run tab. To specify which payment methods you want to use with each business partner, select the include box for the preferred payment method. Note that you might need to scroll to the right to view the include column. You can set a default payment method that will be assigned automatically to new business partners on the BP tab in general settings. In the master record, you can also set one method as the default payment method to be used in all documents for this business partner. From the payment methods included in the business partner's master records, the system automatically chooses one, based on the settings in the payment run. If you want to use a specific payment method for a certain invoice, you can also directly enter the payment method in the invoice itself. Note. To use the payment wizard, make sure you have also set up banks and house bank accounts. You can define the banks with which your company works within the banking setup area in the administration module. You can define more than one branch or account as house banks in SAP Business One. This is done in the House Banks Accounts window in the Banking Setup area in the Administration module. In the Vendor Business Partner Master Data, under the Payment Terms tab, define the Business Partner Bank details. This information will be used for payments created by the Payment Wizard. Here are some key points to take away. The Payment Wizard creates payments in batches for incoming bank transfer payments, and outgoing checks and bank transfer payments. In the payment wizard there is also an option for issuing a payment order run that creates a bank file, does not create any journal entry and leaves the invoices open. With the payment method, you control the payment wizard process. In the master records of each business partner, you specify which payment methods you want to use for the business partner and one default payment method to be used in all documents for this business partner. You have completed the topic on handling payments. Thank you for your time.